Okay, as promised, let me get the address. 603 Water Valite Avenue. That's her business hours. I'm speaking of Amanda. And this is the name of her wonderful, cool shop. I hang out here a lot. So, we're going to go in as promised. Have a look around. That is incense. Try to get up there. Trying to get stuff here. Uh, she makes wands. She had a wand in here. It was really cool looking. Oh, here it is. Really cool. She makes them by hand. Yeah. You need to call my phone. I can't right now. Yes, I do. I will see you. See you. Be careful, okay? Okay. See you next week. Have, have a good evening. Thanks, Rick. Love you, girl. Love Bye. you. What are you? That is a star gum. My brother was pretty when he was alive. It was, it's a part of the plant. Mind if I jump over there, Nicole? Mm hmm. I like that Egyptian picture. I didn't see that the other day. Or did you just put it up there? But you don't know what a nail's for. Huh? You don't know what a nail's for. A nail? Mm -hmm. Remember you like sitting on angels? Well, I no, I don't necessarily want to sit on an angel. Well, you was trying to make another one. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, you were sitting on it. So you were trying to make a, a clone. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got it. My sister used to say each other. <laughs> Let's see. Three little mini bites. <laughs> if you can see that. I can't give you much to work with there. That's all right. I wish I was you. How it's wrapped. I wish I didn't have any. I don't like them. I hate carrying them around. Did we get a reduction? But I wanted, I wanted, oops. Let me know when I can get through there. I wanted to be flat. I wanted to be a tomboy. I wanted no boobs. There you go, Rick. Okay. Get past you here. All right. Step on your toes again. Aha, there's the very sweet, beautiful, kind Amanda. 
the proprietor mm -hmm. of the this beautiful, wonderful shop. And um, as you can see, all the stuff that I tried to get, you just got to come in and look, please. You won't regret it. And you can, you want to say like some of the stuff like um, jewelry, incense, oils, herbs, you name it. I have it or I can get it for you. <laughs> and I know that you have. T I always get it wrong. The cards tar yeah. tarot. Yeah, we have tarot cards. Tarot. And, and um, all sorts of divinatory tools. Do you do tarot readings and other readings? Yes, I'm, I'm a psychic and clairvoyant, and um, I was going to share a story with you really quickly. Um, Rick and I were talking one day, and I was telling him about, well, you know, things happen in the spiritual world, and there were rules behind, you know, ways that you should do things, ways that you shouldn't do things, and usually how spirit interacts with us. And one time that law was breaking, broken in my mind because a gentleman came in the store and hugged me and kissed me and talked to me and I hadn't seen him for a number of years. And he said, I think about, I, I said, I, I really miss your wife because I heard that she had passed away. So I, I said to him, I, I really miss your wife. And he said, I, I talk to her every day in heaven. And I didn't think a thing of it. We continued the conversation. He's here for about 15 minutes, hugs me, kisses me, and leaves. Two days later, somebody who was associated with his wife stopped in and said, no, he's been dead for two years. She lives in Kentucky. And I was just totally flabbergasted because the way spirit usually interacts with me is through word, through thought, through images. Mm -hmm. And this time he was physically, tangibly breathing yeah. so and solid standing in front of me. So you were, so to speak, you were in the dark because you didn't know. Exactly. I was dumbfounded once I me realized too. what had actually happened. Because to me, spirit is no longer physical. So it can't be physical, right? Mm -hmm. Well, how many times have I been talking to a dead person? And not know it. And not realized it. Yeah. And thought they were a living person standing in front of me. So. Yeah. And I don't know that that's happened any other time. But it flabbergasted me. It yeah. certainly did. It still does. <laughs> and I can also testify, I've been in here and seen uh, things picked up and dropped. I'm not talking about just falling and you can hear... Like a ring that all of a sudden floats in front of you and then yeah. falls to the floor. Yeah. So, and just... Or something jumps off a shelf and hits a customer that's five feet away. Yeah. <laughs> but they're, they never hurt them, so... No, it's usually just to get their attention. Right, yeah. Or to see the item itself, you know? Yeah. And I mean, have you ever wondered like when it happens to a customer are they like trying to get them to say, well, hey, you know, she's a psychic. I need to tell you something. You know, you know what I mean? I mean, um, you never I know. I haven't specifically had any of those thoughts jump yeah. into my mind. Um, it kind of ran across my mind. But I... It makes sense, don't it? I try to open myself when something like that happens and go, yeah. what the hell? Okay, <laughs> let's figure this out. Yeah. But I don't always get an answer, so... Yeah, true. Well, <laughs> since... She opened the door. I might have said it, but I can't say it enough. She is, I mean, psychic, one of the best, and soul-wise, one of the best, and person, one of the best and most beautiful. She's a very kind-hearted, sweet, wonderful person. So <laughs> you're very welcome. And I want you guys to come in and check the place out. Anything else? No, feel free to come in. It'd be nice to meet you. And I think I, I'm not sure. I don't know if I, yeah, your number's out on the window, right? Mm -hmm. okay, okay, then I got it on here then. Okay. All right. We're, um, 
I'll be putting some UFO stuff on here soon. Bye-bye.